Gospel of July the 25th, 2014, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him, did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be the first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as ransom for many. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, today we are celebrating the Feast of James, of Saint James, exactly the brother of Saint John. And it's easy to think that the mother of these two brothers uh, was the one that wanted to go there. But let us think about the custom of the day and we will easily find out that it, wa it would be hard for any woman whom, whom, they didn't ha whom didn't have any right, what they were not recognized in any way. The citizens were only the males. So it's a strange sign. Most likely, I think, that the true brothers, maybe, or maybe one of the brothers, James, confusing what the kingdom of God was about, asked their mother to go along and ask for the, for the positions. They are mistaking the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Jesus, for the kingdom of Israel. Perhaps they thought that Jesus was going to replace King Herod, to replace King Herod at the palace. So it was very convenient for them at the beginning, before there was any campaign, to ask for the position. Hey, I'm going to follow you. We will eventually we'll go in a campaign and war and everything. But uh, just to let you know and to assure myself, I want to sit one on your right and the other on your left so that we basically have the power after you. And the Lord reminds them. He, sa he asks. First he says, you don't know what you're asking. Then he asks a mystery question. Can you drink the chalice that I'm going to drink? They, without knowing what he's talking about, say, yes, we can. That chalice was death. He was talking about the passion. And then when they said, yes, we can, he confirms them. You will drink indeed my chalice. But sitting at my right or my left is not mine to give. It's my father's. And indeed, all the apostles died martyrs, except John, who died out of old age. But yet tradition has it that before his destiny in the island of Patmos, he was condemned to die in boiling oil, except that the Lord sent his angel and he did not got burnt. He did not get burnt. So 
Well, they put him there, and then he went out by himself, unhurt. But all, everyone, everyone, all the apostles died martyrs. Now the Lord, after this has happened, the other ten, the other ten apostles are upset. And it's so humanly natural to say that, because obviously they thought, why are you doing this? You're taking advantage of us. And the Lord tells them, how, a little bit of how is the kingdom. He says, the rulers lord it over. The great ones make their authority felt, but it shall not be so among you. Now the Lord is going to teach us what is the kingdom of God in this world. Whoever wishes to be the first, whoever wishes to be great shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first shall be your slave. Service. Service is the rule to follow Christ. And he sets himself as an example. The Son of Man, that means the Son of God incarnated, did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as ransom for many. We are called as disciples, as followers of the Christ, to do the same. To serve God in each and every one of our brothers in the world, his other children, and also to give our life as ransom for many. Of course, the ransom has been paid. My life and my blood is worthless because. I am just like a branch, but the tree, the plant, the grapevine is the Lord. The branch of the grapevine by itself is useless, but if I am firmly attached to my Lord, then I can say by Him, with Him, and for Him, that I am going to give my life serving and trying in that service to God to save myself and others. That is the truth and what we should be looking at. Our Lord is not inviting us to honors, to wealth, to pleasures, to power of this world. On the contrary, He invites us to reject all of that to become, to become humble, to be servants, to prefer Him and love Him above all things, and to realize that His kingdom and our home is not in this world, but in heaven. May He allow you, all of you brothers and me, and all His children in this world, enter our house. God bless you all, brothers.